Hey guys, my name is Kobe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this wave pattern or this like horizontal striped pattern that you can see right here in front of you. It can just add some effect to an image or you can put it as a background of a thumbnail and put some stuff on top of it. You can really do a lot of effects with this image, turn on the opacity and put it on a different image to give that other image a different style and effect. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this today. So the first thing I want to do is select the two colors you want in your boxes like I have seen here. You want to do this by selecting your foreground and your background color on your layers. So the first thing I'm going to pick a red and hmm, a red and I guess like a grayish black, something like that. Select the two colors you want and that's your first step. So you can do this on any size document. I'm just going to keep the same document I have. I'm just going to hide my previous layer and I'm going to make a new blank layer and you should make a new layer for this. You're going to grab your gradient tool, which is over here. It could be under your paint bucket right here. You're going to select a linear gradient. You're going to make sure that your gradient picker is from your foreground to background color like we've selected down here. You want to make sure it's the one on the top left. So once you have all your gradient settings selected, what you're going to do is come onto your layer and you're going to start at the top of your layer, holding shift and come all the way down to the bottom of your layer, touching both end and bottom of your layer. And you're going to drop and it's going to affect this gradient like this. So once you have your gradient made on screen, you want to go to filter, distort, and we're going to go to wave. And here where the magic happens, really. Here we're going to be playing around with some settings to create the best preview in this box as possible. We basically want even boxes at the start and the end and straight lines all the way through our preview. Usually I leave my number of generators to 60 and by default these are normally at the very bottom so I'm going to put everything at the bottom and do it from scratch. So you want to play around with the wavelength and this is where you actually set the number of generators. You can see that they kind of wave in and out and depending on how many lines or boxes you want in your image this is where you set it. Now you want to leave the min and the max of your wavelength and your amplitude one apart and this is going to give it the cleanest effect as possible so I'm gonna leave it somewhere around that amount and then I'm gonna play around with the amplitude to make these lines straight now as you can see that they've gone straight pretty much straight away you don't want to overdo it so once they like get to a pretty even straightness leave it around that now the next step you want to make sure or at least try to do this as accurate as possible I'm gonna do this relatively quick for the purpose of this video you want to try and make the first and the last box the same size or if possible different colors and the same size. Now this can be a bit tricky at times, but it's just a matter of trial and error to figure it out uh, just to get this nice effect. And I'm I'm pretty happy with that. It, they're close enough. The first and the last box are relatively close. All the lines are fairly straight. Now this is trial and error to figure out what you want for your image, but it really can make the difference between an image looking good and not looking good. Now this definitely isn't perfect for me. This box at the end is slightly smaller, but it's relatively good and I'm somewhat happy with that. Anyway, guys, that's how you make a wave or like horizontal striped pattern. Now, of course, you can do some different things with this. You can change the size of it. You can spread it out and put it to an angle. So it's like a horse, literally like a uh, diagonal effect on it, which can uh, really just make an image look a bit more different and unique. And you can really play around with the size of this. I actually quite like that. I think that's a nice effect, too. But either way, whatever like your desired goal is, just play around with this, play around with the number of generators, get as many lines in there as you need to. You can play around with the color and you can add some other effects after to change up the color if you wish. You can add a hue and saturation layer to this and you can colorize it and change the color of it from here. Add some saturation. You can do a lot of things with this technique and it's just really versatile. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in Photoshop or any other software, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to leave a link at the top of the description to my other beginner Photoshop tutorials and all in the playlist, so you can check those out if you want to learn some other stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.